Okay, I just launched some AMRN right here uh, off of this support right here. Uh, bounced up a little bit uh, past this 50-period uh, moving average. Uh, good thing this chance, uh, good chance this thing could go green. So you know maybe maybe uh, make a nice little chunk along the thousand shares. Let's see what happens with this thing. Okay, come on, come on, just keep on moving. Shit, shit, come on, man. Well, fuck, it's got some support right here, so, you know, maybe it'll hang on to this 16 area, bounce back up, come on. Fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, dude! What the fuck? I just lost 1,500 bucks, what the fuck? Oh, shit! Oh, no! no. Hey, guys, it's Ro Santana from Work Saving Best Entrepreneurs, and today I'm making this video so you guys can understand the concept of what is technical analysis and how you can use it to your success when it comes down to trading stocks. And the first video that you guys um, saw before this one, um, you guys saw this guy trading and you can definitely see a couple of things and understand them. That the first thing you can take out of it is that this guy really had no clue what he was trading. He took a bunch of shares of a stock that was clearly on a downtrend pattern and he was hoping for the best that this stock that for some reason or the other it was just gonna literally had the audacity to say there's a chance that this thing might go might go green i'm like dude where this stock is clearly going down down clearly and it's been going down for the longest because you can see in the multiple charts that he was showing that this thing was set for failure like from the beginning another takeaway that you guys can have from this video that you guys first first saw is that Another thing that happened was that you need to understand that you need to have an entry point and an exit when it comes down to investing. You need to have a price where you're going to buy and where you're going to sell once it reaches the amount of money that you was planning to have. And the most important one, you need to have a stop loss, the amount of money that you are willing to lose uh, for a trade. And this guy literally, the, the stock dropped a dollar from 16 to 15 and it was a clear sign that he had to get out but he still stayed and he kept saying oh it has some support here like no a stock if it drops a dollar so fast anything between 50 cents 40 cents it's a clear sign that you need to get out and he had enough time to sell all of his shares but he was stubborn and he stayed and made his loss even bigger when it dropped to 14 dollars so he went from an original investment with a thousand shares of 16 dollars to lose more than two dollars now you multiply that two times a thousand that's a huge loss man but at the end of the day that's what i'm here for to make sure that you guys don't make that mistake that this amazing trader made in this video so my so, focus for this video is going to be very simple how to perform technical analysis and how it can help you so the first thing what is technical analysis i'm going to keep it very simple Technical analysis is a study that you do of a stock before you even take and buy some shares from. So how do you perform it? And there's a couple of steps that you need to take before you even trade a stock. And is you need to identify support and resistance. Um, if you're gonna make a day trade or same swing trade, things that we covered in the previous videos, um, you need to check the, the volume, if it has volume. Remember that I told you guys that volume plays a big part because it show if, the stock has interest. If it has low volume, it's a stock that most likely is not even going to move. If it has a lot of volume, that means a lot of traders are looking into their stock, which um, therefore can make the stock go up in price. And that's the point. Um, the other thing, um, I like to look for catalysts. Catalysts are simple that, uh, these are news. Uh, each broker, they always have news of a particular stock that you're looking into. And what you do with these news is you like to see what is a company doing. If they share uh, their profits for the year, if they made a new contract, if they're going on tr under a lawsuit, if they are about to go for bankruptcy. These are things that help you. And for instance, with a catalyst, what you go, go for is if it's a really good news, like the sales of pharmaceutical um company so and they and they just found a cure for a new for, for a disease and that's a good catalyst and this going to bring uh retail traders and they're going to most likely push the stock up so now that you guys um 
understand the concept of technical analysis, which is basically a research of a stack that you are doing, identifying support, resistance, entry, and exit point. Um, now I want to take you guys to the charts so you can see how I perform technical analysis and how it can help you make profit. Follow me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys a couple of stocks and I'm going to show you how I identify uh, potential by doing technical analysis. And the first thing that I want you guys to know is that these are not stocks that I'm telling you to trade. I'm not telling you to trade these stocks. I'm only using the stocks that I'm going to show you for educational purposes. I don't want to hear nobody in the comment section telling me, Israel, I put a thousand dollars in these stocks and it didn't happen what you said it was going to happen. I don't want to hear that. These are stocks that I'm just using for educational purposes and that's it. There's a disclaimer and if you trade these stocks, that's on you. These are stocks, remember, I'm doing this video on a Sunday so the market is closed. And again, these are not stocks that I'm telling you to trade. It's for educational purposes. So here we go. Let me make myself look small. Okay, here we go. So let me make sure. Uh, I, was, I had a couple of stocks that I was looking into. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how, to, how to identify a good potential with a stock. Uh, when it has a good chart and how to avoid certain stocks that you can clearly tell that they're not going anywhere and first I'm going to start with a with a good stock um, a stock that I saw that I really liked was this one BPT BPT what what this company about I, I have no clue I just saw the pattern and I liked it but if it had the, the criteria that I like when I'm doing a swing trade I don't usually swing trade I'm most of a I'm, I'm a day trader but technical analysis is something that goes both ways for both day trade and swing trade. You have to do it for, bo for both. So let's say um, you're trying to swing trade the stock. Well, the first thing you guys will have to do is to perform a technical analysis. I like to go back to 180 days, which, which is six months. And this way I have enough uh, time and I have enough, uh, an, an, uh, enough information to decide what I'm going to do with a stock and let me see let me see KTOS hmm KTOS you guys no no I like BPT more yeah so this is what we're gonna do so what I like to do is first I like to see the chart and the price so this stock is cost $23 so the first thing that you need to understand is how many shares are you buying from from this from this stock are you gonna buy one share two shares three shares because if you're doing that you, you're not gonna make any money the point of the the way that you make money in the uh, trading stocks is that you buy a certain amount of shares 100 200 300 400 and you um, hopefully the stock goes up and you can make a couple of cents a share so you buy 500 shares, and it goes um, 30 cents. Uh, but we're talking about uh, more than 100 dollars uh, potential for profit because that's how it's multiplied. So if you buy, if you think you're gonna make 100 thousand dollars only buying one share of a stock, um, let me be the first one to tell you that's not going to happen. So what the second thing I do is I look at the chart and I look at the at the price. So if 23 dollars is a a price that I can um, afford I'm gonna go for it so $23 not necessarily needs to be the price and people are able to buy stocks that cost $50 60 70 100 200 dollars um, so depending the amount of money that you have in your broker there's amount of uh, uh, the, 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 your share size is gonna be defined by that so if you have $3,000 you can't take a $10,000 position that's just impossible so here we go so the the first thing I do is I look at the chart. So as you can see, and performing the 180 day analysis, you can see that this stock has been consistently going up. And even though it went to $27.95 and it retraced back to 21 and from there it went to 19, I want you guys to pay close attention to the support. See the support here is in this area. 
So as you can see here and here as well, every time the stock has reached $19, it usually goes back up. See, it has a two high, two two resist uh, resistance points, 27 and 25. Yeah. So this helps right away identify what is going on with the stock. So as you can see here, for the previous two resistance points, uh, 25 and 27, right now the stock is reaching the first resistance point of $25. Is that $23 and 65 cents so this has a margin potential for profit of of more than a dollar so if you let's say if you buy um, I don't know I always like to have the information accessible so let's say you buy uh, 200 shares and you win uh, two dollars per share you can make four hundred dollars that sample based on the pattern that the stock has a resistance at $25. So I want you guys to see this. Then the, the next uh, uh, resistance point that we see, let's say you're able to reach with 200 shares, $25. Then the next resistance point will be $27. We're talking about two more dollars. And in total, if you buy a 23, we'll be talking about $4 potential for profit, which is just a huge, amazing, ga amazing gap. So let's see how much the percentage would be of growth. Um, 16 percentage of profit. So this is a huge margin. And what helps you identify this is the pattern of the stock. So see how you're looking at this. So as, as you can see here, there's no way that this stock is going to go to $100 or $200. Because not even if you go a year back, it doesn't show you that. See, we went back a year, and the max amount of of uh, the highest has been in, in an entire year is twenty seven dollars. So as you can see here, with this stock, you can make yourself an educated guess that the highest there's going to be is twenty seven dollars. It, it might not be a hundred percent. It might go to thirty to forty. You don't know, but uh, this stock going to a hundred dollars to two hundred dollars from twenty seven dollars, it's just not going to happen. So you make. A realistic analysis that this stock might be able to cover 20 to 25 into 27 and from there you can adjust your 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 profit loss ratio because you always need to make sure that whatever investment you're going to do you're gonna make double or whatever you're risking now this is the resistance that's how much money you can make so now we need to talk about uh, how much money you're risking to make this two dollars or four dollars potential for profit. So let's go to a hundred and eight day analysis to six months. Let's go here. So here, as you can see, it's twenty three dollars. But we have seen and identified a support for this stock, which is nineteen dollars. So every time the stock drops to nineteen dollars, it usually goes back up right away. See, it happened here. It, it, the, the, there was some type of a pullback here, up here, in this area. Pop, it dropped to 19, and it went all the way to 27. It dropped the first time, a dip, a dip, a dip again, but it dipped to, 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 to $19. So it shows you uh, a support that this stock is, is showing respect to. So you, you haven't seen it breaking below that. So this gives you uh, more confidence to... When it comes down to trading the stock, so as you can see, it dropped to nineteen dollars, it went to twenty-two, it dropped again to nineteen, and then it went all the way to twenty-five dollars. And now, even though it had a little pullback, as we can see, it's having a little bit of consolidation here. So let me show you guys the last ten days of the chart. Okay, so as you can see here, for the last ten days, from twenty-two dollars, the stock has been a consistent uptrend. See, little by little. Uh, getting some extra cushion all the way to $23. So this is showing you an uptrend. See, for the past 10 days, the stock has been going up. So this gives you an, uh, uh, an educated guess that this stock might reach $25. So this is another thing that helps you, the support, identifying that when the stock might drop, uh, how much it could drop before, um, how much it can drop and how much you're risking. So let's you see. Let's say you 
Let's go back to 180 days. Let's say you buy at $23 now. Um, the next uh, thing you, you, you have to do if you're buying at $23 we already identified how much money we can make, 25 and 27. But now we need to talk about how much money we can lose. So the last pullback that it had was a $21. So if you buy a $23, the risk that we're talking about is that we, we put it in jeopardy a dollar and 86 cents to make $2 here and to, and to make $4 here. So at twenty-three dollars, I, I think it's a little bit dangerous to take a trade here because it's so close to the resistance, and it's so close as well to the to the previously the the previous support, which was twenty-one. So, if you think that this is something that you're willing to risk one dollar and eighty-six cents to make four dollars, hmm, go for it. You know, will I trade it? No, I probably would wait for the stock to drop. A little bit more, I would probably buy, feel more comfortable if the tr if the stock drops to twenty two or twenty dollars, or even I would just wait for the stock to drop again to nineteen dollars and wait for a confirmation that is, that the stock is going up to later go in again for, with two hundred, three hundred, four hundred shares and ride the entire momentum up up because here is a little bit risky, even though for the last ten days it's been going up. Um, so that would be the, the the reason that I wouldn't take a trade here because it's already let me make sure I'm recording. Yeah, because the last time I was doing a video and I literally did 30 minutes for nothing because I was not recording. So um $23 I'll probably buy if it drops more, uh nineteen dollars or twenty. Just to wait it's just to have a, a safer cush. Because if I buy a twenty in the uh twenty two and the support was a twenty one only risking a dollar to make four so that's what that's a four for one potential uh, profit loss ratio which is amazing so now that you, we identify how to the resistance and the support um, on how much money we can make and how much we can lose now I want to show you guys um, uh, all the things that you can do uh, for instance the catalyst their news why the stock is moving for the past 10 days we saw that this stock has been going up for the past 10 days see for the past 10 days it's been going up see but an option pattern wait let me do this it's been going up for for 10 days straight so let's see why the stock is even is even moving so each broker has an option of, of news see news on BPT and this is something that's very important when you're looking into a stock news news uh, it's correlated with catalyst, and catalyst is correlated with price action going up or going down. So as you can see, it shows you different dates. We don't we don't care what happened in July of last year, April. We don't care. We need to know what's happening now. That's what that's what is important. So this is news here, uh, the first of May. So here it's talking about um, sector update, financial stocks higher in pre-market trading. So basically, the show is some of these stocks some stocks that they were going higher in price in the pre-market hours and um bpt was one of them so this is good even though it doesn't have that much information it is good to know that not only this stock is going up it's showing others so it might make us this expose us to other different stocks so we can go from bpt and, and see okay why bac is going up um 0.3 percent and then you might find another stock even better than this one. But in the meantime, I want to, you guys to understand the importance of, of news because it helps the stock move. Another thing that I do um, when I perform my technical analysis is my level two and the times and sells. Now, this is the problem. We can't see the level two. Uh, level two is you see the price actions of the ask and the bid, something that I explained in the previous video. Here we can't see it because it's a Sunday, the market is closed, so we're not going to see any action. But something that I look into is times and sales, which this is what it does. It shows you um, how many shares are being bought and, and sold at a particular time. And this helps you identify that if a stock is, is having way too many sellers, the stock is going to go down. If you see a lot of buyers, that means the opposite is going to go up. So this gives you uh, an understanding where the, the stock uh, might go up or down. So 
This is BPT, and that's how I would identify it, the potential. So let's go with another stock with a nice pattern. Hmm. I don't like this one. You guys. You guys. Okay. So I like these guys more. So as you can see, the same thing. The first thing you can do, you can see, performing the hundred and eighty day analysis, is that this stock, um, even though it had a big pullback to sixteen dollars and forty three to sixteen, and uh, little by little has recovered and is already up to twenty eight dollars. So th what this shows us is that the the potential for loss. Let's say you buy twenty eight dollars. It might drop to sixteen, which just shows you that this might not be a good a good stock to trade because it's, it's just moving it one way. And what we want is like BPT, a stock that is continuously going up. This stock is not doing that. So this was most likely would be a stock that I wouldn't put not even attention to until I get a confirmation that the stock has broken above uh, thirty three dollars. Because for now. It it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. Some consolidation, and then it goes down, and then it goes back up. So it doesn't have like a big pullback and a strong uptrend. It's just moving a little bit. So this is not showing that much price action. So I wouldn't even look at this stock. And this, this is a very different chart. Uh, you see that there was a lot of action for quite some time. It went all the way to forty three. It went from twenty three to forty three, twenty dollars, but it dropped. From 43 to 16, that's a way too much of a uh, gap. So when you look at the chart, is always go back to 180 day analysis and perform your technical analysis with it because it's going to help you identify potential. This stock is a clear example of a downtrend of a stock that is not moving too much, and I wouldn't even even pay attention to it. Let me see KTOS. KTOS. Okay, so KTOS. Has a similar pattern as BPT. Um, even it went from 14 and it dropped to nine dollars. And from nine dollars, it has some consolidation, and it's, it went to a high of a ten dollars, almost eleven. And then it went up for quite some time. See that this this uptrend. This is what I want you guys to see, the uptrend. So it was showing some consolidation, but when once it reached twelve dollars, it had a uh, two dollar um, drop, and from there it consolidated a little bit. There was some consolidation for a couple of days, and then it went back up. So once this stock was uh, uh, went up again, um, they had another drop from twelve to eight dollars. So it was not able to retain uh, the price, and now it's happening a little bit of the same thing that dropping to eight dollars then it's having a little consolidation which just clearly tells you that this is a stock that it wouldn't be a good idea to buy now at ten dollars i would just wait for nine dollars because this is the, the support that's showing see eight 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 dollars and ninety cents nine dollars so i would preferably wait for the stock to go to to nine and then buy to ride the momentum up because right now it's showing some consolidation here at ten dollars and we don't want that we we want a stronger move we don't want to be in the same place because we, if you swing trading this stock it's going to drive you nuts thinking about man when, what this stock is going to do tomorrow see that the, the price drop from 11.92 to nine dollars that's two dollars loss you know so this would be another stock that I would rather wait for it to drop. I would wait the, for the stock to come to me than me going to the stock because usually what happens, you lose money. Now let me show you terrible stocks that for some reason people just love to trade them and they love to lose money. And you shouldn't lose money for trading stocks like this. Let's go for TOP. This is the favorite stock of a lot of people. This stock used to be, let me see if I can go back five years. Look, this stock used to be worth, let me see, that's how many zeros, three, 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 six, thirty-six million dollars. That's how expensive this stock. And it went from thirty-six 
to pennies. Like this is um, unbelievable. See, this stock has no pattern. In the f in the past five years, this is this this chart represents five years, people. Five years. This has no pattern, no up, no down, no anything. This is just a mess. But for some reason, people love this particular stock, TOPS. Even I got caught with this stock and lost uh, a couple hundreds one time. So let's see, uh, see for the past six months what this stock has done. It went to $35. Okay. And you see, it, it has no. See the difference of this chart um, from TOPS to BPT? So I want you guys to see the difference. See? See, it, this chart has patterns. Like you can identify support and resistance with this stock in a particular uptrend or downtrend. But with TOPS, you can't do this. Like, it's it just a mess. See? Look, if we go back. Um, 30 days, the same thing, a mess, going down uh, for the past five days, down. Like, this is showing you a downtrend pattern, so this is a stock that you should not put any attention on because it's too dangerous, it's not doing anything, and it's not going to grow your money. And that's what I want you guys to un understand. So, uh, when you check in, uh, I just want to do a quick recap of what we did. What we do is, when you want to do technical analysis, you perform, you go back six months or a year, you identify support and resistance points, downtrend of uptrend pattern, you make sure you check up the news of the stock, why the stock is moving the way it is. Sometimes the stock is not going to have news, but um, it is what it is. Uh, you check for the level two, and you see the price, you see the price action, you check the times and sales to see how many people are buying or how many people are selling. And this will help you before you make a trade. Like, if you don't perform technical analysis before trading and you lose money, that's good. You're supposed to lose, to lose money because you don't invest in something you don't understand. So, that's basically it, guys, for this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a, it was a little bit long. I was trying to make it short. But um, this was a video that was going to take longer to do um, because of how much information they had. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. And hopefully you learn something new. Something that I like I always tell you guys, if you have any questions, if something wasn't clear enough, please comment down below and I promise to answer as soon as possible. And just like always, work saving best entrepreneurs, join the movement, and see you guys soon.